Hey, welcome back to Whitetail Garage. This weekend we're going to work on uh, electrical, try and get all that buttoned up. So I've already kind of started working on the fan. I've already done some stuff down here that I'm going to continue to button that up. Got to do the mass air. As I make some progress, I'll check back in with you guys. All right, I think I'm basically done with the inner fender. It is quite a bit of a rat's nest, I know. But I've got all the positive leads running to that. Battery runs straight to the starter solenoid over here. Uh, then, you know, fan and uh, ignition, the MSD module, all run down through here following the headlight harness up to the front. So everything's tight in there, alternator and starter running off that way. Okay, and then fan runs around this way, comes out here, and then connects up right there. All set. So now we'll move on to mass air. Going from the four wire mass air pigtail to a six wire mass air pigtail because this mass air has an air intake temperature sensor in it, I'm not going to utilize it. So that's for these first two pins right here. So I'll just fold these back and leave them in the harness um, because, you know, that, that might get used later if I uh, move to a, a, a Holly system. But then for these, I went ahead and uh, put the heat shrink end connectors on them and then I'll uh, wire them up up here. All right, so works out pretty simple because this pigtail just happens to have the right colors in the right places, right? So, you know, red is, is power, black is ground, tan is your return, and then the light blue is your mass air. All these up here are done with heat shrink end to end butt connectors. Uh, like I said, I just taped this into the harness and I will put conduit on it and run it over there. All right, I'm gonna route it up over that. Uh, I right, got the conduit on it and uh, tape the ends. Don't forget to, to tape the ends when you're using conduit and use, use a decent cloth tape. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna plug it in. Check out that ground strap. That's the best way to do it. I think that is a awesome way to do the ground strap. That side of the motor mount bolts straight to the cane member, and then that bolts straight to the motor. All right, guys. Well, that's where I'm going to end it right there. I mean, this is uh, pretty short, right? Because the wiring is pretty basic. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.